Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my updated realistic morning routine. Lately, I've been waking up between 6 and 7, usually around 6.30, and the first thing that I do once I turn off my alarm in the morning is I chug water. It's super important to rehydrate after a full night of sleeping, so that is the first thing that I do. And then I make sure that I spend some time with the puppies. It's such a sweet time in the morning. They're super cuddly first thing in the morning. And it just really puts me in a really good mood. Once we've gotten a good amount of cuddles in, the next thing I do is I open up the curtains. I love to let morning light in and it just fills my bedroom and makes me so happy. I think it's really helpful too to help me wake up. Getting that natural light in is everything. Then I make my bed. I make my bed every single morning and there's just something about making the bed that signifies to my brain my body that we are getting up and we are starting the day. It's also so nice when you come home after work and see that the bed is made, it just, you feel put together. When my bed's made, my life feels like it's put together. <laughs> Once I make the bed, it's time for me to get ready and I usually get changed into some workout clothes. Today I'm wearing an outfit from Aloe Yoga. As you guys know, I teach there, but it's also one of my very favorite activewear brands. Once I am dressed, it's time to walk these crazy girls. They are so wild in the morning. It's so funny. It's such a task to try to get the harness on Bali. She's still such a crazy puppy. It's so funny. And then we walk, we get outside. It's good for them, obviously, because they need to go out, but it's also so good for me. Even if you don't have dogs, it's so amazing to get up and go outside for a walk, get fresh air, get out in the sun. It's just the best. After I walk the girls, it's time to feed them and their food situation is so funny. I actually feed them two different kibbles. One is for puppies and one is for adults. And I just ended up mixing them because they both eat each other's food. So I just try to make it the same. And then I add a little bit of bone broth and some doggy probiotics. Once they are fed, walked, and watered, it's time for me to get ready to head to the gym. So lately I've been doing a packet of liquid IV, just a hydration packet. I put that in my water and then I head off to the gym. I usually train on an empty stomach because I feel like if I train after eating, I get nauseous. So I just do a hydration packet and I feel like that gives me a little extra energy and hydration to get through my workout. Another thing that I do in the morning is something that I share in my 12 week program, The Yoga Inspired Life, and that is I listen to my Rise and Shine playlist. It's a playlist that I created on my Spotify with really uplifting, positive, motivating songs that really get me in the vibe to have a really good day. I put that on and listen to that usually all morning. I listen to it on the way to the gym and then I listen to it when I come home as well. And then I'm off to the gym. If you guys follow me on Instagram or you've seen my previous videos, you know that I've been going to training me four times a week and I go usually at 8 a.m. lately. I was going at seven, but because it's dark in the morning, I've been going at eight because that just works better for me. Of course, I take my daily training mate stories.
And then once I get home from the gym, I immediately make a vegan protein smoothie. I pretty much make the same smoothie every single day. It's with vanilla vegan protein, water, some superfood powders, spinach, mango, and banana. It's my absolute favorite way to get in my greens, get in all of my good nutrients that I need, and of course, get my vegan protein in. Once my smoothie's made, it's time for me to move on to my vitamins and supplements, which I'll go over with you in a moment. But in addition to prepping my morning vitamins, I also prepare my other morning drink. In addition to my morning smoothie and water, I usually do a celery juice, but today I was actually out of celery, sadly. So I'm just doing a mushroom coffee. I either do mushroom coffee in the morning or an oat milk matcha latte. Today I felt like mushroom coffee. So I literally just do one packet of this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee, some hot water, and a few drops of toffee stevia. It's so, so, so yummy. I love it. As far as what vitamins and supplements I take, I do a daily multivitamin, a probiotic, a clove of raw fermented garlic, I've also been taking a vegan iron supplement. While my water is boiling, I like to tidy up the kitchen and put away any dishes from the night before. I just feel like having a clean kitchen just makes me feel so much better. So I use this time to kind of tidy up a little bit and get things organized so that I have a clean house for the day. I also try to wash anything I'm using immediately because I just hate having dirty dishes. It really gives me anxiety having stuff out of place or when my house is really disorganized. So yeah, I try to clean as I go. It makes cleaning a lot easier. As soon as I'm done with all that, before I get to work, I take time to sit in stillness. This is a really, really, really important part of my morning routine. It's just a moment for me to take a pause before the day begins to really get myself in a good headspace. And I used to do this first thing in the morning when I would wake up, but now having a puppy, she needs to go out first thing in the morning. And now I train in the morning. So I've kind of shifted my routine around a little bit to work with my life, but I still make time for stillness because it is so incredibly important. Once I'm done with my meditation practice, it's time for me to get to work. But before I get to work, I fill out my daily productivity checklist, which is a tool from my method that I share in my program, The Yoga Inspired Life. 
Doing this every morning just allows me to get organized for the day ahead. Keep track of my daily wellness routines, as well as taking a few moments to set a daily affirmation and to tap into gratitude. it's time to work. I sip on my drinks, answer my emails. I also like to hop on my Instagram stories at this point and check in with my community. My morning workflow changes from day to day depending on whether I need to create or just do admin work but I definitely have a few hours in the morning that I take care of any work that I need to get done. And then around 11 a.m. I head out to practice yoga usually between 11 and 11.30, because I usually either go to an 11.30 or a 12 o'clock class, and it's just a nice way to break up my work day. And on most days, I actually practice where I teach, and that's at Aloe Yoga. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You know that really supports my channel. And if you want more videos like this one, more routine videos, leave me a comment below and let me know. I would love from you otherwise it's time for me to hop on my mat my favorite time of the day to practice i will see you in my next video